when a microorganism enters our body, it reaches to the target site and cause infection. Now, due to this infection, we often fall sick. Now, the question is, what do we do to treat a disease? Let us find out in this lesson. So, the disease, it can be treated in majorly two ways. The first is to reduce the effects of this disease and second is to kill the cause of the disease. Let us see each of them in detail. So for the first treatment we can reduce the effect of a disease. As we have learnt the signs and symptoms of a disease are majorly because of the inflammation caused. So we can take proper medicines to reduce these signs and symptoms such as fever, pain, itchiness, redness, swelling, etc. Now have you ever wondered that why does that happen if you take like some amount of sleep when you are ill, you start feeling better. It is so because while sleeping you are conserving energy and this enables basically to conserve that energy for the healing purpose. So by taking medicine or by taking rest, you can reduce the effects of a disease. But this does not cure the disease or it might take a longer time to cure the disease. So what should we do to cure a disease? Let us find out. We can use medicines to kill these microbes. As we have learned, the microbes are divided into various categories such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, etc. So these categories of microbes, they possess some biochemical pathways. And these biochemical pathways are different for each category. So basically, the drug that is going to affect one of the category is not going to work against the other one, mostly. Also, the biochemical pathways are different from our cells as well. For example, the bacteria, they use a different pathway for preparation of new substances. And we have another pathway of making such substances. Now, do you remember that which drug was used to kill the bacteria? It was the antibiotics. So, antibiotics are majorly used to block the various pathways which are very important for a bacteria to survive. Similarly, they are drugs to kill fungi, protozoa, etc. Do you know that antiviral drugs are very hard to make? Can you think why is it so? It is so because viruses they have hardly a few biochemical pathways and hence there are very very less number of targets to be you know targeted for a virus. So for such reasons the antiviral drugs are very difficult to make. But with the advancement in the technology we have prepared a few effective antiviral drugs such as for example HIV. We have made some antiviral drug which are effective against HIV. So basically it controls the infection. So student in this lesson you have learned that there are various ways how we can treat a disease in which the two major ones were first to reduce the effect of the disease and second was to cure the disease. In both these we have learned that we can take medicines which can either reduce the effect of that disease or we can simply kill the microbe which is causing the infection. 